in a marina with all these cool boats in Neshamne Creek, Pennsylvania. And I'm looking at the Sunseeker Eco Delta. This is one of the more affordable electric trikes being offered by electrictrike.com. What they do is they take one of the Sunseeker um, recumbent trikes, like we see here, and then they put their kits onto it. And they offer a really, you know, a, a decent kit. It's, it's really come up in the last several years. They used to offer sealed lead acid batteries and they've moved to lithium ion. And they've done their best to fit a kit, but make it almost like a purpose-built electric bike. One that's sturdy, one that has all the wires run along the frame in a way that's a little bit more professional. You can see the zip ties and stuff here and they, they do show up. You can tell that, huh, there's, there's more wires going on, but the kit offers basically all the different drive modes that you'd want, including pedal assist, uses a 12 magnet cadence sensor right there. So it's very responsive. And it also has a trigger throttle up here. You see the cockpit's pretty clean. That's one of the interesting things about this trike. You might notice that compared to some of the other recumbent bikes, it's got two wheels in the back instead of up front. Those are called Tadpole trikes. And they do have a model called the Eco Tad that's priced similarly, kind of in that like 1850 price range. Um, but it has the wheels up front. This one has a single wheel up front, more like a traditional tricycle. They actually do sell that right over there. That's their, their Sun Traditional. And, you know, I, I guess what you get with, with this design is your, your arms go up a little bit more to steer, whereas the recumbents are down here. The recumbent um, tadpoles, they also have a lower seat. And so this one, getting on it and sitting down, it didn't, it didn't feel like quite so much of a chore to me. I didn't have to, you know, put an arm down and lower myself. I just kind of sat down like normal. Pedaling felt good. Steering, while not as like responsive, you, you know, you really, let me try to do this. When you steer, so you really have to swing your arms all the way out. And I think that makes it a little bit more stable feeling. It doesn't feel like you're gonna, you know, zoom along like a roller coaster. It feels just more like you're, you're riding a trike, but something that's still lower, a little bit more aerodynamic, relaxed. I've got this nice padded seat here. It's vented on the back so you don't get, you know, kind of sweaty. And it is adjustable. See these pins right here so you can kind of angle the seat up or down. You can even slide that boom forward or back. And these guys work with you when you order it to try to set it up just right so that not only is it ready to ride when you get it, there aren't any wheels to put on, there aren't any extra cables. They like to say they ship it with the you know key and the battery like ready to go. Um, but they'll also try to help get the right size for you so you don't have to mess with adding or removing chain links. I do like that their uh, the front chain ring here has a couple of guides so the chain isn't gonna bounce out. But on something like this, you know, the, the tires and everything are a little bit narrower it's it's not really meant to go off-road there isn't any any kind of suspension other than um, the padding on the seat you know it's a little bit a little bit heavier than most electric bikes is about 72 pounds versus a normal two-wheel electric bike is maybe in the 50 to 60 pound range so you, know, you add that extra wheel on there um, it does add a little bit of weight we've got a seven speed cassette in the back and it uses a component group I'm not super familiar with. It's like Sunrace M30, a little bit more generic, but seven speeds, they've been working fine as I've been riding. You just shift with that twist shifter up here, really intuitive. Again, fairly clean cockpit for a converted bike. And this thing does come in a few different colors. So you got red, I believe it's uh, black, and then kind of a gray. They all look really nice, but the red's kind of fun. You stand out a little bit more. 14 gauge spokes in the back, that's kind of their standard, and it's, um, it's like a 20 by 1.5 inch tire, so it's a little bit more efficient. Same thing up front, but you'll notice that the spokes are 12 gauge, so extra thick. Again, that's to support the power of that motor. We've got a Pro Max, sort of a linear pull brake right there. And then if you look up here on these levers, they've actually got a motor inhibitor. So anytime you pull that, it sends a signal to cut power. So no matter what, even if you're still pedaling and you're in pedal assist and you forgot or something, if there's an emergency and you pull that, it's gonna stop. They've even got this cool little locker. So it locks the trike, so it's not gonna roll away on you. You don't really need a kickstand on a trike like this. And you know, as a result, sometimes the bike just kinda wanders away. So it's neat that they, they went out of their way to have e-bike specific brakes with that, that parking brake. 
And then back here, check it out, there's a 160 millimeter um, mechanical disc brake. So you really get a lot of stopping power in the back. I haven't had a problem at all using this thing. I'll just give you a quick walk around here. The pedals are, eh, you know, plastic. They'd be easy enough to replace if you needed to. We're riding out here and it's a little bit damp and I'm not having a problem with water splashing up because it's kind of hitting the frame here a little bit. And then in the back, the wheels are spaced out. I think it's about 29 inches wide. So I've got all the specs back at the website, but that's something to consider. You know, how wide is your your doorway? Are you gonna try to get this inside? Are you gonna leave it outside, take the battery inside and, and kind of protect it that way? few different considerations to make. I do love that the way the seat's designed here. You've got a, a bottle cage boss right here and right here so you can carry some liquids or you can you know put a folding lock or something and that's one of the trade-offs of this versus the you know the tad pole the two wheels in the front that I was talking about for the eco tad. It has a more traditional bike rack in the back so you can hang panniers, you can put a saddle bag, something like that, kind of a trunk bag one of the considerations but again I just ergonomically I'm gonna I'm gonna hop on this thing see I just step over I can even grab the handlebar and I just sit down and you'll have to forgive me I've, I've had a little bit of a cold lost my voice recently but you know powering on with this and, and having a great time um, riding around so now that I'm, I'm on the bike you know I guess first of all I should mention that I've got the key in and it's turned on you do have to leave that in We've taken the keychain off so it doesn't rattle. It's not a huge deal, but you know, that's the first step. And the second step is to come up here and hold the power button here on this little control pad for a couple few seconds, and the display panel comes to life. And it's pretty awesome. You know, it's got five big ticks here of battery capacity. I know it looks like there's smaller ones in between, but it's really just five chunks. Speed, we've got assist to power level right here, and I'll get back to that. And then down here we have odometer. And if we press that M button again, it's sort of like our function button. It changes to like trip distance and average speed and then trip B and max speed. So you can just kind of rotate through those, those different options. This display is pretty cool. It does swivel front and back to kind of reduce glare, but it's not removable. So it's gonna, it's gonna stay with the bike. You might wanna keep that in mind if it's really raining hard or if you're parking at a rack or something, just put a little sack over it and, and kind of help it blend in a little bit. Um, but from here, I can, I can arrow up, and in fact, I can hold the up button for a few seconds, and it, it turns on backlighting, and that's really nice. Looks really beautiful. Although in this case, it's kind of like right in your, your line of sight, and sometimes at night, you don't want to ruin your night vision. So, you, you know, it's neat that you can turn that on or turn it off. And now we'll get into those levels of assist. So if I take it all the way down to zero, you know, throttle mode doesn't work. Nothing works here. It's basically just a trike, a seven-speed, you know, recumbent bicycle. As soon as you arrow up, it's gonna give you, you know, like, I don't know, 15% energy. Oh, it looks like we, we hadn't been using it for a while, so it automatically shut off, that was cool. So I'm, I'm at like 15% and then I arrow up again and it's like, hey, you know, 20, 25% and it gives you increasing power. Um, and I think that's kind of neat because this being, being a trike and, you know, it's three wheels, it's fairly stable. I'm sitting here, I don't have to balance. But if, you, if you're someone who doesn't want to go especially fast, you really don't have to. And you can just use these buttons right here to control that. It, it's not going to get out of control. You don't have to worry about, you know, running people over or having it, you know, scream out on you. In fact, here, I'm, I'm on level one. If I just choose the throttle. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I had my brake, left my brake on. So those inhibitors really do a good job. Okay, so I'm, I'm ready to go. Look at that. Nice and smooth, quiet, you know, just kind of walking along with this thing. I don't even just kind of dangle my feet. And then if I go up to five, check this out. There we go. Don't even have to pedal if, I, if you don't want to. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then of course with pedal assist you've got that extra extra response so let me let me do that real quick you know it's nice this is a 12 magnet sensor it's a little bit more responsive than some of the other um, you know more basic sensors that I've seen out there yeah got the padded grips 
Got a nice open cockpit right here. I've been relying mostly on that disc brake. Um, it feels pretty good. I'm not skidding out or anything like that. The bike does a, a good job. Um, I want to introduce you to Alec over here. He's like a lead engineer at Electric Bike Technologies. Hey everyone. How, How are, are you? you doing, man? I'm good, good. Thank you for coming by today. Yeah, yeah, it's been great. Thank you for setting up the bike. He, he set this up just perfect for me. That's sort of the way they build these, you know, it's ready to ride and, yeah. and they really interact with the customer a little bit to, to make it just right. Um, would you mind hopping on this just yeah. to show, you know, what it looks like? Yeah, this is, you know, I think I would call this the most relaxed recumbent that we offer. Yeah. It's um, the high seat is really a selling point, I think, for this. As Court mentioned, it's so easy to sit down on it. Yeah. Um, but also the handlebars are a lot more comfortable than some of the underseat steering options. Mm -hmm. And if um, you don't have to work as hard, at least you know that. Absolutely. It's it's like some of those you're like kind of boxing a little yeah. bit. This one, your your hands are relaxed. And there's more padding on the seat than you usually find hmm. on on these on these mesh back seats. So it's got the padding on the bottom, so it's easy to sit on. And all around, I think it's it's a nice smooth ride. Um, the the upright, you, you notice the position's a lot more upright than most yeah, of the Yeah, yeah, that is true. And, you know, you can you can drop it down on the adjuster back here, but for the most part, this is this is a comfortable slower paced bike. Okay, well, can I you know ask you to do a, yeah. just a round here? You know, that's kind of what it looks like. You want to make sure you put some lights on this thing, probably, or wear a helmet with a light so that uh, cars can see you. But it's a really cool option. It's kind of sporty while still being stable and a little bit more relaxed. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So before we finish here, um, one of the other really neat things about this display, this is new for them, and it, it, it offers a bunch of adjustability. You can go in there and change the top speed. I believe this bike is capable of going up to like 26, 27 miles per hour, but you can lower that top speed. You can also adjust you know, how quickly pedal assist responds. You can adjust how much amperage is going to that motor. So does it feel really, really powerful or is it more of a smooth slope? And they've dialed it in so that they've kind of matched the controller with the, the battery curve. So as voltage drops, they've, they've tried to make it as accurate as possible so that um, you, know, you can actually see how much battery remains. That's a really neat feature. I think, I think we've, we've covered most of it. I do want to call out um, because this is using a hub motor here, you can see the, the motor cable. It's actually tucked away pretty, pretty good right here. But that's one point of vulnerability. You just don't want to get that snagged or anything. Um, are there any other, you know, just things people should keep in mind with this bike, Alec? Yeah, I think I think for this bike, um, you, you had mentioned this is actually a 36 volt setup that we've got here. Oh. Um, the whole thing can run on 48 volt. We can set it up with a 48 volt battery, um, but for a bike like this, we're we're gearing it more towards going a little slower. So it's a 20 mile an hour top speed setup the way we have it. That's kind of average, you know what I would consider. And the, again, the pack's gonna be a little bit more compact. Um, while we're at it, I wanted to show you the the charger over here. This is a uh, relatively lightweight. It's about a pound and a half and it's fairly durable. Kind of got that aluminum shell on it. It's pretty cool that way. And the battery, of course, is removable, but if you wanted to charge it while it was mounted, you could. And there's a little power port on the side. So it's kind of hiding under the handle and it protects it pretty well like that. It's kind of cool. You can see the, the cables and everything running down here. The only cable you have to unplug if you're taking it off is this one. It's just a fairly big, kind of a standard Molex plug like that. A little bit more open source with this. And you know, the battery is more exposed. It's not built into the frame or anything, but there's plenty of room for it back here. And it's got that same aluminum casing. And here's the controller box, some of the cables. You know, they're mostly out of the way, but they're a little bit more exposed. And that seems to be the case with most recumbent trikes and things like this. You can see the cables coming up here to the display. So the top speed on this trike is going to be about 20 miles per hour, but you can dial it in. You can lower that top speed if you want to. You can change how responsive the pedal assist is, and then you can even change the amperage that's flowing out of it so it could be less zippy. And I've noticed that at times, depending on you know the terrain you're on, I only weigh 135 pounds myself, but you know there, there's a little bit more weight towards the rear. So if you just 
gun it and you're just using that throttle, the front wheel can spin a little bit, so it is nice to kind of ramp into that power. Okay, well we got a nice little stretch of road here. Alec and I are gonna race. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Go. One, two, three. There's that little bit of wheel spin out here. <laughs> He's winning. There he goes. <laughs> Looking good, buddy. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm about five miles an hour to speed over you, so. <laughs> yeah, he's being nice right now, I think. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna get a back view. It's kind of fun. <laughs> there we go. Looking good. You know, as always, ride safe.